But I guess we met in 60. Sick. Karen Condren and her husband Jim have been married for almost 50 years. Yeah, work off each other's strengths, uh, not tramp on each other's toes. Sir Jack Martini's back. Their love and friendship has endured through good times and bad. My, my parents are really, they're a good model of how it should be. Karen used to be a model and has succeeded at many things in her life, including as a mother of five and now as an accomplished painter. Very passionate. She's a very dedicated uh, mother. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything else. She's always given me motivation to make it through tough times. But several years later, times did get tough for Karen and her family when she found out she had ALS. It initially caused some panic, and I was, I was thinking, of course, you would think of the worst, like picture what the future, what the direct future is going to be like. The disease started to affect Karen's muscles, and because of that, she lost her speech. That's worked pretty well. The disease has also caused her difficulty swallowing and breathing. Her family says she's more determined than ever. You wake up every morning and you start over like nothing happened yesterday because I think that's important. I don't think this has really slowed her down. I think this has uh, driven her to push even harder and I guess it could even explore other things she hasn't really done in the past. Jim says the doctors have been amazed. They attribute it to attitude and uh, and spunk and continuation. Karen's amazing determination and drive earned her the Wings Over Wall Street Spirit Award. Her paintings of Connecticut sunrises were displayed before hundreds of people as a fundraiser for the cure of ALS. I was just extremely proud of her and all that she's been through. I'm just like struggling to roll out of bed in the morning and just like just get going and get myself in the shower and she's already up and ready to go and okay you gotta sell it. I gotta hit my goal today. Like. Karen and her family have been strong through this whole ordeal and they say they want to keep it that way. I think fighting is a big deal because I mean if if you don't fight, you lie down and feel sorry for yourself, yeah, you probably won't last.